a lot of times we can actually combine square roots when they're the exact same square root. Let's take a look. 6 square root of 5 plus 2 square roots of 5. Since those square roots are the same, these are like like terms. So here I've got 6 square roots of 5 plus 2 square roots of 5. I can add them together and just say I have 8 square roots of 5. Real easy. Look at the next one. 3 square root of 50 minus the square root of 2. Well, the square root of 50 and the square root of 2 are not like terms, so I can't combine them. But look, the square root of 50, I can simplify a little teeny bit. Square root of 50 is actually the square root of 25 multiplied by 2. And I can now use the property that breaks up that square root. And I see 5 square root of 2. So if I insert that in here for the 50 square root, I'll see 3 times 5 square root of 2. And so what I see now is that this thing is equivalent to 15 square root of 2 minus square root of 2. Well, that's cool because now they're like terms, and I can now combine them. 15 square roots of 2 minus 1 square root of 2 is 14 square root of 2. So when the square roots are identical, we can actually add and subtract them. Cool stuff. Square roots actually one day will be your friend, and I hope that you're a friend today. I'll see you soon.